Shy Covington on Twitter wants to know, have you ever had a bad hair day? What's that? It's Max Major, and this is episode 130 of the vlog. That's a great number. Feels pretty good. Today, it is time for Major Questions. That's a show where I answer your questions submitted by Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So let's get into it. Question from at Loyal Sammy on Twitter. She wants to know, hashtag Major Questions, what was it like driving in Vegas? Have you done it before? Anything we should know? Uh, Sammy, I've actually never driven in Vegas before. This was the first time I've ever rented a car, and I have to say it was a fantastic idea. In Las Vegas, you have to take taxis almost everywhere you go. They run mm, around $20, $25 per trip. Rental car, $28 a day. So it's an absolute no-brainer, so convenient. Insider tip on Vegas, it's actually free to park everywhere. You can go in any parking garage, anywhere on the strip, leave your car as long as you like, no charge. Coincidentally, valet parking, also free. So nothing really complicated about it. Pretty simple, financially great decision, also super convenient. Rent a car in Vegas. At Cody Soto on Twitter wants to know, are you coming back to Texas anytime soon? Hashtag major questions. Cody, no shows on the books in Texas right now. However, I just added a show in Philadelphia, Indiana, and Washington DC. And all of my tour dates are always up on my website at maxmajor.net. Check it out. A lot of great questions on Facebook this week. Question coming from Selena Taylor, hashtag major questions. If you had to lose one of your five senses, which one would you choose to lose? Whoa. Uh, I would say none, but it doesn't sound like you're giving me that option. <sighs> Taste, touch, sight, smell, hearing. Touch? Because then I could still see and hear and taste and smell. It'd be weird to be kind of numb and that might make performing really hard. Gabriel Fan asks, have you been to Magic Live before? If so, how was it and who did you meet there and will you be going next summer? Gabriel, I've been to Magic Live one time. It was a fantastic convention. Uh, when I was growing up, I went to a lot more Magic conventions than I do now. Went to SAM and IBM. It's a great way to hang out, meet other magicians, make friends, learn a lot, and it's just a great time. I definitely recommend it. Question coming in from Maya on Facebook. That is my editor. She wants to know, please tell us a story of how you and Christy met. It's actually a really good story. I may even save that for a full vlog in the future, but long story short, she was at a show I was performing at in Baltimore. I think the most interesting part of the story is that she actually didn't want to go to the show at all. A couple months ago, I did another show in that very same theater, and she sat in that very same seat, and it was a really special night. So Christy, so glad you decided to come to the show. Keith M. Carey wants to know, if you could do a magic trick in any of the James Bond movies, what would the trick be? What movie and what would your girlfriend's name be as a Bond girl? If I could do a trick in a Bond movie, I think it would be really cool to catch a bullet in my teeth. As far as Christie's Bond girl name, I'm gonna turn to the internet for that one. Bond girl name generator. Here we go. Step one, take the initial of your first name. Okay, Sultra. Step two, take the initial of your surname. Sultra Krug. Her name would be Sultra Krug. <laughs> Dakota Tidwell asks a business type question. So I took your advice on one of the first major question videos about how to get my photography business going and created the Facebook page Dakota Tidwell Photography. Check him out, by the way. It's been going okay, but not as much of a draw as I would like. I almost have 200 likes with about 50 of those being friends. What do you suggest more to help promote my hobby and business, but also with keeping in mind I'm in college and finance can get in the way, trying to go to the page, get more customers, opportunities. But I think oftentimes on social media, we try to curate our image and to put out something, only put out something when it's perfect. But the truth is you should be sharing early and often. And so Dakota, I would encourage you to do as much work as possible and to share as often as possible. If you're earlier in your career, I would actually offer to volunteer to photograph 
a local networking event because you'll be there working with your camera, you'll be showing people exactly what it is that you do. After the event, your photos will be shared out with that entire audience, plus you'll be there collecting business cards. If you really want to grow your business, you've got to get out into the real world and meet people, and the best way to do that is by showcasing what you do, actually photographing events or people, and going to networking events. And so those are the two best ways to put what it is that you do in front of people. Dominique Towler asks, hashtag major questions, how embarrassed did you feel on Halloween this year? Dominique, I wasn't embarrassed at all. It actually was a ton of fun, made a lot of people smile. I have to say, the costume was a hit. I was a little nervous in the beginning because it was just sort of uncharted territory for me, but as soon as I saw the smiles on people's faces and the reactions that it was getting, I had an absolute blast. So embarrassment level, zero. Fun factor, 10. Next question coming in from Jeff on Facebook. Jeff wants to know, what was going through your mind the day you decided to pursue magic as a profession? What should a novice have down before he makes that leap of faith? Jeff, it was always something that I wanted to do and I was splitting my attention for the longest time between many different interests and many different side jobs. And as I've mentioned before, it wasn't until I took that leap that everything started coming together for me. And so the truth is, you will never have the perfect plan, you will never have enough money or enough clients, it will never be exactly the right time. At some point, you just have to take the leap. And so for me, I decided I would give it one year, that if this was truly my calling, that I deserved to give it everything I had for an entire year, and from there, I would make a decision. Well, the truth was, within the first two months, my business was doing better than ever, and I knew there was absolutely no turning back. Uh, the truth is that if you take the leap and it doesn't work out, you can always go back to doing what it was you did before. And so as soon as I realized that, there was absolutely no fear. It was exciting. It was exhilarating. Every day I woke up, I was so energized because I was spending 100% of my energy on what it is that I love. My advice for you, if you're considering to take the leap, is to go for it. If you're even thinking about it, if there's any part of you that says you should be doing this full time, then I would say dive in head first and figure the rest out. Because that's it for major questions this week, guys. Remember, you can always submit your questions anytime using hashtag major questions on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. This week, I choose one person who asks the best question to win a prize, a t-shirt, deck of cards, what have you. This week's winner is Dakota Tidwell. Dakota, best of luck with your photography business. Let me know if there's any other way that I can help.